So I created an AI bot and I plugged it into my Go Ahead Level SaaS website to get more clients. Let me show you what it looks like and how I built it. Let's go. Okay, so let's test out the bot and see what kind of answers it comes up with. First thing I want to type is, who are you? So I said, I'm an AI bot here to help with any questions about our SaaS platform agency. So I think that's pretty good. Now let's say, what is agency? Agency is our all-in-one SaaS platforms that helps you with operations, boost sales, save you time with AI features. I think that's pretty good. Now let's do something a little bit more technical. So how much is the software? And so it just replied, agency has a started plan for 197 months or the ultimate plan for 497, which makes total sense based on the website. This is the pricing that we have. And so let's just do one last question. Let's test it out. And this software, Google reviews. And it just replied, yes, agency can help you getting more Google reviews through lead nurturing, customer engagement features. So this one might need a bit more tweaking when we're training the bot, but I think overall is really good. And so let me show you how I built this bot. So before I set up the bot, let me just give you a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. So number one is you must have a clean website. Your website has to be dialed in, has to be aesthetic. I mean, if you're selling AI to local businesses, this is the front end. This is stuff that they see. And your website is just an extension of your business. But if your website looks cheap, like the Go Ahead Level template, that it's just going to look really bad. This is just not going to cut it. But once you have your website dialed in, I think it's brilliant if you have the bot because leads can actually test the product themselves live. And so they can demo the product on your own website and they can see proof of the software, the services that you're selling to them. Like just think about how powerful it is. Let's say you're doing a demo or your lead is on your website and they can test the AI conversation bot themselves. They can test it live and they can see the product. They can see the proof right there. And so let me show you how I created this bot. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to your agency sub account and we're gonna start creating the bot for this you're gonna have to have conversations ai turned on so if you don't have it just go to the agency view and then you can turn it on so for this one i already turned it on so i'm gonna go to settings and under conversation ai here we're gonna start creating our bot so i'm gonna create a new one from scratch and i'm gonna show you how to build it step by step for the name i'm just gonna do ai bot and for this one i'm gonna do autopilot so this is how it's gonna start replying on its own for channels, I'm gonna do the live chat widget, which is the one we're using on the website. You can also toggle these on if you have Instagram, Facebook, all those integrations connected in this sub account. Okay, so for wait time before responding. So what this means is how long does the bot wait before it replies to the question? And so for this, we definitely don't want it to be minutes. I'm gonna do seconds and I'm gonna do like six seconds. You want it to be fast enough that it's replying quick but you don't want it to be really fast that if somebody's messaging multiple messages, like multiple lines, that it answers too quick before you can see the second question. So I would say six to eight seconds is pretty good. Let's just test it out at six. And for maximum messages, I'm just gonna do the maximum, which is 25. It means how many messages it can go back and forth before the bot just stops replying. So now we're gonna go to bot training. And so this is really important. This is how you're gonna train the bot and it's gonna know how to answer the questions. The first way you can start training Training your bot is by entering your domain so the website link and it's going to start scraping data and start training itself so i'm just going to give it a try right now this is the test link that we're going to use and i'm going to hit get data and it's just going to start fetching data scraping all the text from this website that's how it's going to start training itself okay so as you see it now scraped the data if i go here you can actually check it out and this is all the data that it was able to scrape so that's a pretty good start but the bot's not fully ready it's not fully trained so what we can do to make it better is just add q and a's and so if i click here you'll notice it has a quick drop down you can add a question and an answer so that's how we're going to give it more specific questions so it's going to know how to answer those okay so what i've done is to save us a bit of time i've already created this ahead of time so here we have my SaaS agency bot i'm gonna take a look at the faqs and i'm just gonna add this quickly agency is just the name of the test software so i want to make sure that if somebody asks like what is agency it has a specific reply so just to show you let's do a couple of these live and i'm going to show you what this would look like so i'm just going to copy paste the answer hit save so that's the first q a you'll see it right here now let's add a second one what is the employee what can I do to my business? Let's copy paste this very quickly. And it has the answer right here. Okay, so I've added a bunch of Q and A's, not all of them, but I just wanted to do it very quickly so you can show you what it looks like. And we can actually start testing the bot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is how much is it? Let's see what it comes up with. Hey, we have two plans, starter plan 197, ultimate at 497. That makes sense. And it's actually one of the Q and A's that I just added. So if you take a look, it's this one right here. So we have our two plans and then there it is. Now let's try something else that is agency. 
Let's see what it comes up with. And there we go. All in one SaaS platform. And this is based on the answers that I gave. So it's doing pretty well. Now, let me show you what it would do if I ask it something that is not here. Then it's just going to use the data that is scraped. And so let's just do can this software do websites like something basic. Let's just see what it comes up with. He says, yeah, so we can do it with the Thanos AI, which creates pages in just three clicks. And this is fully based on what it was able to scrape from the website. Now, I would have to tweak a couple of things because, of course, with Go Ahead Level, you can do Funnels AI, but you can also build websites from scratch manually. So that's where you would have to train the bot. But I just wanted to show you like a super quick example. But let's keep going. OK, so next thing I'm going to do is do the bot goals. And what this is going to do is just give it a bit more context. And so we have personality, intent, additional information and like what is the action what are you optimizing for is it booking appointments workflows whatever it is so this right here you can edit so if i click on the box you'll notice that i can just remove this you know change it and stuff and for this i've created my own sop so if i go back and go to bot goals i already have this created now you might be wondering how did i create these goals the questions all that stuff and i love this i did using chat gpt as a help and so i was giving it prompts and creating this myself with chat gpt the first thing i'm going to do is do the bot goal so i'm just just going to do this very quickly and remove this right here. Your primary goals are and then here's the four goals. Next thing I'm going to do is add this right here. So anything else the bot should know. This is at the very bottom. So additional information. I'm just going to copy paste this very quickly and then I'm just going to add this right here. OK, so I'm going to hit save and the next thing I'm going to do is do the appointment booking. And you have different ways as to how you can set up the appointment booking if you wanted to optimize for book demos, booked appointments. But for me, I'm just going to keep it simple. Don't book the appointment, just send the booking link and let people just click on the link and book themselves just to show you like super quick how it works. And that's pretty much all the setup. So now let me show you how you add the bot to your website. So let's go back to our websites. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to websites. I'm going to click on the website that I'm looking for. And once you've clicked on your website, just go to settings and you're just going to select the chat widget. For this one, it's this one right here, the live chat widget AI, and I'm going to hit save. And now we can actually test it out. So now I'm on the website and here's the chat bot and I can actually test it out right now. So let's just ask it like a random question. Let's just see what it comes up with. And it's like, yep, yeah, agency can create funnels. It has the funnel feature AI, so you can build ready to go funnels in seconds. I think that's pretty cool. Now, this is how you set up your Go High Level SaaS agency for success, especially if you're doing AI. I think having an awesome website with the bot so people can test it out themselves, see the product in real life is going to be huge. And if you're a Go High Level agency doing SaaS or transitioning to AI, you're just getting started and you want to get a website just like this one, you can actually get this exact website in our link in bio. This website took us months to build, so if you want to skip the work of coding, creating the websites, the graphics, the layout, the design, all that stuff. And you can actually just get the template and launch your agency in seconds.